What's going on, guys? It's Kitty G on, uh, on Mohater's channel. Shout out to Mohater 10 times over. Guys, we just lost 3-1 to Manchester United. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm looking at this game and I'm saying to myself, you know what? We were the better team. We played better than Manchester United today. We went to Old Trafford for the first time in my lifetime in a long time. And we were controlling possession, dominating possession, making them a counter-attacking team and looking like we were a threat, but we couldn't finish our dinner. We were not clinical on the night. It was deja vu all over again. Odegaard missing chance after chance. Every time, every time there's a 50-50, we, 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 keep, we keep messing it up. Like we kept having so many half chances, so many clear cut chances, and we just kept messing it up. We were not clinical on the night and it cost us because this was not a 3-1 game. At certain points of the game, we could have easily been up. Also, the opening goal, although it was soft, I believe that the referee should not have overturned it. I think there is this is a contact sport at the end of the day, and there should be certain fouls and certain things that are understandable. And was it a clear and obvious error from uh, impeding uh, it to, to cause the goal? Potentially, yes. So I get it. I get it. I'm not too hard done by that. But at the same time, I'm thinking like, would that could that have been given against us? Possibly. Now, Rashford scored two goals, but the one that bothered me the most is Anthony came in and scored. Like he came in immediately, and it was an impact scoring with his left foot from that from that chance that he got the opening chance. Manchester United went up one nil, and they were hyped. They were hyped. Personally, it's not like I I don't feel aggrieved to the point where I'm saying we got robbed. But I feel like Manchester United did not deserve to win by a two goal margin. This is not that kind of game what happened was Mikel Arteta made some substitutions and it completely turned the game on its head when he brought in uh, 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 Smith Rowe Eddie and Fabio Vieira it was very bold and it did not work the substitutions did not work it kind of got us out of our position and you've seen one through ball broke us open and it's just so sad to see that all the hard work, all the preparation, everything just taken out by one through ball. And you know what? I thought Ericsson and Bruno playing the game in the midfield with Scott McTominay, we were going to have an easier game. I thought the fact that them three were playing in the midfield, we were going to have an easier game. I thought the fact that Casemiro and Ronaldo were uh, were going to be off, we we're going to have an easier game. But Manchester United stepped up. You got to give them credit. They actually stepped up and they and they had they executed their game plan to a T. Um, our, we we tried to execute our game plan, but everything was executed properly until we got to the final third. That's where we came short. That's where we didn't finish our dinner. That's where we hurt ourselves. So yeah, to end it off, Odegaard, you need to shoot. And when you do shoot, try to get it on target at least. <sighs> that was sad. Number two, Mikel Arteta, you got it wrong today. The substitutions you made cost, uh, cost us that third goal. I feel like you could have you could have made a little bit le you could have made maybe eased ease the players in bring them one one by one in instead of just putting them all in changing the whole shape right away and just messing everything up in the whole cohesion of the game because we got to control the game to a certain degree. The hoodoo of Old Trafford still continues. We can't we can't seem to beat it. It's deja vu all over again. Um, Saliba and these boys they conceded three goals away from home, but. Can we really say, you know what, it was on the defense? It was more of the lack of organization from the midfield. That's where I'm picking out Sambi Lokonga. He was he was leaving it exposed today a lot. And we missed Al Neni and we missed Partey today in that midfield. And finally, refereeing decisions. We just got to get over it. We're never going to get decisions to go our way. We can't cry it over every game. As we just seen this weekend, everybody's getting bad refereeing decisions. We just got to move on. But yeah, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Shout out to Mohater. And yeah, big up, man.